We're about to visit the dark web and we're about to regret it. This looks pretty messed up. We was not expecting to see this. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh okay, my so God. I saw it and I hate it. Oh my God. Decapitation, overdose, suicide, torture, accident. We collect our meat mainly from morgues. Oh gosh. Unfortunately, this is in front of our eyes. This is their homepage, bro. Oh my God. One half brain. One half what? brain liver. Road accidents are our guilty pleasures. <sighs> I might actually vomit, this is so disgusting. Wow. Holy f I'm gonna fall. You know, I hope and pray that it's just a coincidence that we just finished filming our video, visiting the dark web, and now all of the power in our office is out. All of it. But it is a dark web video after all, and I still needed an intro, so I figured what the hell, when life gives you lemons, I got nothing but a battery light and a f blood candle. It's Amanda's, she's a horror fanatic, so of course we have a blood candle. I'm making light of it because it's terrifying, but anyway, we're gonna proceed. I feel the irrational need to whisper right now. You know when people say when you're alone in the dark and you're afraid of being alone, but you're actually afraid of not being alone? That's how I feel right now. I'm gonna splice this in with some voiceover just so it still sounds nice. But uh, yeah, this is our situation. But we proceed on because Trilogy Media stops for no one. Cue the mood music, let's go. The vast digital ocean, infinite, mysterious. And beneath its calm surface lies a realm so obscure, so unsettling that only few dare to explore. The Dark Web. Many have heard of it, few have explored it. Two of the most infamous minds of our digital age, Ryan Montgomery of Zero Day and John Hammond. Legends and masters of the cyber realm are taking us deep inside the shadows of the Dark Web. We're on a quest to uncover the most shocking, creepy, and downright terrifying parts of the dark web. What we're gonna find is about to blow your mind. Do not try this at home. My name's Ryan Montgomery, also known as Zero Day. I'm known for cybersecurity and stuff relating to child safety. People know me due to some podcasts and some stuff that came out recently that went pretty viral. Without going into too much detail about how many laws are broken on a computer. I don't think we have enough uh, memory cards in, the, in this entire hotel. In the statute of limitations years, none. <laughs> so the dark web is a term that I hate, honestly, but there's a browser called Tor, and it stands for the Onion Router, and it, it's a network within itself. You can't visit a .onion website without opening Tor and starting your connection to a Tor, uh, a Tor relay. The dark web is sites that exist within the Tor browser on the Tor network. You could use it to buy drugs. You could use it to buy uh, weapons, ammunition, horrible photos of children. Um, there's, you know, you hacker for hire services, murder for hire. You name it, we can find it. Your battery is low. I'm at 10%. <laughs> yeah. What is the dark web? Please tell us what it is and show us. So the dark web can be good and it could be bad. So we're gonna, we're gonna show a couple different things. I'm gonna start with the hidden wiki and then I'm gonna work my way through some sites that came from, uh, from that source. Um, this is called Tor, the Onion Router. Um, the Onion Router is a way to anonymize yourself but also allows you to visit websites like I'm showing in this uh, 
screen recording with Dot Onion, which is not a website you can visit on the clear web or the or your you know normal internet browser. So is everything I'm looking at right now illegal? Um, it's not illegal to view, but it's illegal to purchase these things, of course. Here's uh, just you know some PayPal accounts with balances that you could purchase for this price. So you could buy, let's say, a $1,300, $1,356 PayPal uh, account for 140. Uh, yeah, 146 U.S. dollars. So whose money is the 1356? It's a, it's a victim. Somebody stole that account. Euro guns. You know, in Europe, or most of, or a lot of Europe, I believe, or if not all of it, guns are illegal. So you could buy guns for, uh, you know, on the dark web, and they'll be shipped right to your house. Here's uh, the People's Drug Store, which they're selling heroin right on the front page, cocaine, ecstasy, speed, prescriptions, and much more. Here's some cocaine that you can buy. What? So what's stopping the police from involving in what I'm looking at right now? Um, it, it's the way that these uh, these servers are hosted makes it very difficult for them to find. One gram to uh, pure cocaine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's more um, organized marketplaces where you can buy stuff like this. These are more, like I said, just from this hidden wiki service that I was showing you. So do the people that own those PayPal accounts now, they'll lose that money? Yes, they're going to lose that money. So it was people that were hacked. Yep money was stolen and now yeah. they're selling it for a lower amount. That's exactly right. And then here's some uh, some prepaid cards with a $4,000 available balance, but you're paying $130. So it's just from, you know, stolen uh, credit cards, presumably, which is- and So the law just wouldn't find you? Um, in most cases, no. Um, but the, you know, if they, if they intercept the package, and that's, that's, and that's it. it. But my, my computer died, but you know, just, Showing the example there, you can get pretty much anything on, well, you know, the dark web. So there. why is this not being prosecuted? Like what? Well, they how, are. How can this just function and, and it's just a normal thing? Like, well, they they are they are prosecuting it to the best of their ability, but you know, they you know you're only as good as your as your opsec, which is is your operational security. So the people that run these websites. Uh, some of them are very experienced in anonymizing themselves, not just uh, on, on tour or, or the dark web, but um, in general. So, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty, wild, uh, pretty wild network of, of things going on. But yeah, it's used for nefarious activities the same way that the internet is, just on a more, uh, I, I would say, large scale. Luckily, we have somebody awesome here that can show you more that has a charger with them. <laughs> John Hammond is his, is his name. You may know him. He's a content creator and, and, uh, and much more. I've known John for a couple years now, and John and I have run, run into each other like probably five, six times in person. He's been to my office. I've been out to, in, in his area. We've been involved in so many online events together. We, we have so many mutual friends, and he's just such a great guy, so intelligent. And he has a charger. He has a charger for his laptop. Mine's stuck at the People's Call Center with, with pierogi. And uh, my laptop's dead, so I can't- So he's not gonna die in 10 minutes. In 10 seconds. Yeah, well, you never know. That, that's an alienware, we'll see so- how, We'll see yeah. how the charger goes. Yeah, it, he's not- it, 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 John, we have a lot of hopes. When you're spending that time on the dark web, it seems like when we were going through it, right? It's like, how much of that is, I would say, sexually related? It seems like that's a massive, like that's the, if you were gonna break it down, right, like a pie chart, how much of it is used for that versus other things? It's the number one search for thing on the dark web and uh, specifically related to children. Before we get into this next part, I wanna make it very clear. Do not try this at home. If you're watching this here on YouTube, a lot of it is gonna be blurred. It just has to be. Otherwise, this video is gonna get removed from YouTube faster than you can blink. We have a version of this over on TrilogyPlus.com as we do with all of our stuff. It's extended, it's uncensored, it's raw. It's mostly uncensored. That's the only disclaimer I'll put there. There are still some things that have to be blurred even on Trilogy Plus, because I'm not about to go ahead and put pictures of real dead bodies on Trilogy Plus and traumatize people for the rest of their life. But it is mostly uncensored and it is way more raw and you can watch it right now on TrilogyPlus.com. The price of Trilogy Plus is now half price across the board for everybody, for new and existing subscribers. Go check it out. You can stream seven days for free. Hop on over there after this and see what you're missing. You also find the entire interview with Zero Day, Ryan Montgomery. It's fascinating. There's a lot of stuff you're missing over there. Go check it out. TrilogyPlus.com. I don't know about <laughs> um, I'd love to know what is the dark web and 
How scary is it? And how deep? What is it? We are. Oh man! That's well, hey. Way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to do a little bit of a safari ride. I'd love to show you some cool stuff, show and tell. Um, but I would add the disclaimer. Yeah, you can find some pretty weird and wild stuff if you look hard enough for it on the dark web. But it doesn't all have to be that way. And there are things like a search engine for the dark web. Like you have a Google equivalent or Bing, or whatever for for the dark web and on Tor hidden services. And I could just straight up search for, this is one example, like, hey, let's look for, I don't know, hacker for hire. And then you could just say, hey, can I get anyone that might be able to hack into like, oh, the stupid Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook. So what is blah, Amia? Blah, blah, blah. I'm seeing that. Yeah, way. Amia is one of those search engines like a Google or like a, anything that you might think of, but for those Tor hidden services or all those weird onion links, you can see the big long domain here. And that doesn't look like a google.com or a facebook.com. It looks like complete nonsense.onion. It's meant to be anonymous. It's meant to be private. You'll only be able to get to that website if you know how to get to that website. You see the number one, sorry, the number one search yeah. on that Facebook? Look. Yeah. So Where I wanted to show you. Let me oh, add God. the disclaimer, right? I see it now. You can oh, get some pretty wild Jesus. stuff. Jesus. Look, look. Let me, let me, uh, let's a little pixelate, redact some of that stuff. But I wanted to show not tell, hey, hey pull back the curtain, the wild stuff that you might be able to right, see there. Right. Say we're just looking for, like you said, hey, can we get a hitman? Like weapons, hitman. weapons for sale. Uh, chop me, choke say me. Say we search for that. Let's, again, maybe add that pixelized little redact there. Mm -hmm. But say, any of those lookups, can I buy a gun? Can I get drugs? Can I get monitor stuff? It's kind of wild. And some of them could be trash. Some of them could be complete garbage, a complete scam, just a way for another adversary to steal money or scam the individual. But people, do crazy stuff, right? Especially when they're on the internet. So scam exists even on dark web. Oh yeah. When you're supposed to be so deep and so protected. Yeah. I work so hard all my life and I, I have like two or three like real labels. Like I have a Gucci belt. Yeah. Is that gift? Maybe. <laughs> can, can, you, can you buy stuff that's supposed to be like original Gucci, but it's not, it's a fake Gucci? Oh, absolutely. Things could just totally be uh, counterfeit? I think that's the right word we're looking for. I don't think that's the worst crime we're looking at here. Is oh, <laughs> I'm such a freaking naive Please dude on this. One of the craziest things so I'm looking at. So I'm looking for Gucci belts. Top <laughs> rated products. And here's like AK-47 assault, assault rifle, brute blueprints. But. I think he's putting AK-47 in my face. So let me note, again, I can't validate that. I'm not gonna go make that purchase. I don't know if you are, I don't know if any of us No, I'm are. good. Uh, I'm just interested at, at the options. Yeah. This one's so crazy to me. This is what they call a cyber criminal university. <laughs> like, hey, is here's it? a school, here's a college. Master's we degree? Maybe, I don't know. And they say, hey, here's Hacktown, where it's a public place where you can learn how to hack, how you can get into fraud, how you can get into scamming. Uh, programs a study, whether or not it's in carding, hey, swiping things like credit cards. Uh, and they've got their crazy courses that they get into, like OPSEC or Wi-Fi hacking. Now, who's teaching these courses? Teachers. <sighs> this one has had like news all about it. They've had interviews and you can, I think I can get into like the testimonials that they have here, which is hysterical and weird and wild that they have that. I try to keep a big long list of what are these spooky, scary dark web onion links. And there was one that I thought would be so cool to show you Please. because there was a dark Amazon. They had like the jigsaw character from the Saw movie and that was their mascot. Currently that is uh, offline. I don't know if we'll get a connection, but you're totally right. There was a, a dark Amazon in a spooky, scary way. <laughs> Cracking Island is a weird one because it has a, a clear net uh, replica, like a mirror site where you could go just as easily in Google Chrome or Firefox or your regular web browser, not just Tor, but then say, hey, if I wanted to download any passwords, any user credentials, like any logins for stuff like, I don't know, Steam, maybe you're a gamer, Netflix, hey, you're just trying to catch the latest binge, OnlyFans, of course, Instagram, Spotify. We could click into some of these, and again, we never know if they're gonna be real or trash, and I'm not gonna validate that personally. What are the chances? Let's say you're a bad guy, okay? So we're doing all these experiments. You're a bad guy, you wanna do bad things. You go, child porn, number one search, I saw it and I hate it. So uh, let's say you wanna do bad things. What are the chances that when you do bad things, somebody from law enforcement is watching you and it's a trap? And are you inherently breaking the law by just going to what you're doing? 
gray line, and I don't have an exact or accurate answer, right? The hope with the uh, design and structure of the whole onion router of Tor, right, is that it is layered like a, an onion. So there is supposed to be anonymity and privacy in that. Say the way that you get to a website, you think of like your router in your home or your business, say there are multiple routers and you bounce back and forth between them. So that's how and why law enforcement has a really hard time. This website has been seized. And that's exactly what you're what looking does that at mean? here. I want to see if I can pull it up. I don't know if I will be able to get to it, which I'd be super dumb. Let's see if breach that's a good thing. is up. Right? Yeah, there we go. Here's one example. Um, when you mentioned, is, is there that, any is other- Is that real? This is real. This is a, a breach forums, which used to be a very well-known English forum, like a bulletin board, where you would share like database breaches or leaks that have come through recent hacks when a bunch of companies or organizations were compromised. So what are the chances of feds uh, bursting through this hotel room door and... Uh... You guys are still recording, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not zero. I, I, I can't say that for sure, right? Look, we're in a virtual machine, we're through the VPN and proxy of Tor in its own way. Um, so we'll try to stay safe and watch the damage from afar. Uh, one I thought that you guys might be really, really interested in, because this was very, very recent, there was a big compromise in the past couple months called Move It and Move It Transfer. I don't know if you ever caught wind of it in the news, um, but they had gained access to a whole lot of companies. Uh, and it's a ransomware gang that would normally encrypt the file system and lock the computer so there's a big like, hey, alarm bell that says your files are encrypted. You can't access any of your data unless you give us 5 million Bitcoin or something crazy. But they didn't drop ransomware, they just stole data. And they stole data from all of these companies that they have listed here on their dark web leak site. Kirkland! Kirkland? I go to Costco, buy these there. There might have been BBC in here, there's EY, PWC, they have some- Sony. E Sony. They had some really interesting ones in here because they started to bring these out to the clearnet because downloading a lot of the files and trying to enable other cybercrime is so slow on the dark web. It's almost like painfully so. But you can see some schools in here. Here's some edu domains. Might be able to see some, I don't know if there are any .gov domains, but this list goes on and on and on. One of the ones to, to your point of, of, of a little bit of roulette, uh, Tor66 has a fun feature where you can get a random onion and it'll just shoot you to a random, completely random uh, onion link. Like, hey, say there are the most 10 recent random links you wanted to go to, you can see what craziness they might have. And yeah, hey, there's, there's, there's your first result, Jeez. right? Jeez. Oh my God. The advertisements are the worst. I don't know if you can see it down there, but they'll have some websites that'll just have ad, 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 advertisement run after the other. And it's like not safe for work stuff. It's drugs, it's... Bitcoin's miners. Yeah. It's in money transferred to your card. Ryan had mentioned that at least in just passing, the Red Room, which is known as one of those, yeah, gross, cringy, awful, horrible things that might happen. I'm sure if I search for it, we don't have to go to the URL, we don't have to go to the link, um, but let's just see, are there any hits for that with something like that? Um, Shout Room, that does not sound good, where you learn about human nature. If you don't know what that is, that's a, it's a website that's streaming somebody that is either being tortured, raped, oh, Jesus. or dismantled. And people are paying uh, to watch it in some oh, cases. My. Sometimes they're doing it for free. Oh, my God. And it's, uh, it's absolutely terrible. And, you know, most of the time it's hosted through, um, you know, the Tor browser. I saw this, uh, I see this chemical room, which looks like a lot of cereal. Oh, how about like, oh, let's do Breaking Bad. This is a like, I want a cake. I want Satanic a... Satanic ceremony. Black room. Alpha vendor, money, drugs, and gun. Single, <laughs> multiple drugs, one gun. <laughs> oh my God. New products just for you. A one dollar bill. Inflated and a half. So what, what, what is what is that? What is it for sale? What is that? For some reason it's in the past. It's like something category. from Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> Fifteen hundred dollars. Is this for real? Like you can buy this. Take with a grain of salt. Sure. <laughs> were, they gonna, were they gonna ship you with the Amazon gun with a double handle? <laughs> how does it work? Who gonna how how they gonna deliver you? You just pay with Visa? I'm like how do you? You can buy guns on, on the dark web. That that's done. That's been provably done before in, in the past, and they, they usually ship guns in multiple pieces. What about that like stupid creepy shit you see on TikTok where like it's a it's a six month long live stream of some guy eating pancakes in the dark, you know. It's like random shit that's creepy in nature, but 
there's nothing really inherently wrong with it. Actually, like, what, is that real or is that just for clicks? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what have you been watching? I've never seen anybody you know eating what I pancakes mean? Like, in the dark like, for random, six months. Like, you see those vi those viral videos of like, oh, the creepiest videos found online, and it's like some guy getting like slapped in the face by like a bunch of Asian sumo wrestlers while he's eating pancakes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it sounds- st I'm What not, do I'm you not, watch? Yeah, I gotta yeah. see your search history. Oh <laughs> no, it's not like- I, Maybe I'm not explaining it right. It, it, what you're talking about. You see, like, you, videos, you they live on the dark like they're first, random, they like it. randomness, and they're creepy in nature because they're so random. And like, is that is that just fake shit or is that like? I'm gonna go on a live and huh? say that probably fake shit <laughs> just for content. This is like live like... streams of people like I'm gonna eat pancakes like naked with like reindeer antlers on. Like it's just random, but it's creepy because it's so random. Like I know I'm not making any sense. No. My question is, can, how far into Art's past can we hack? We're going to do that right now. <laughs> we need to know. Pentester.com, anybody can access this website. This is not a plug, this is more of a, more of a just explanation of uh, what, where all this data that gets, can, you know, from these breach sites, from these, uh, these, these forums where they're, where they're plug really- plug is deserved, so don't, it's okay. Well, I appreciate that, <laughs> but I actually want to show this. Let me do a search for this Gmail and see what comes up. <laughs> Why do you have to go first? You <laughs> brought, you brought the, you brought this on yourself. You were in the link, leaked in breach, uh, which, you know, shows you here. This is one of your passwords you used at one time. That's another password. You could be still using them. Dude, those are his passwords, because I know it's passwords. What do you know? You. Those are his passwords. Okay. No, you one more time. Yeah, you're welcome. Here is, uh, you know, your your address. You know, there, there's some stuff there. This this could be a phone number. I'm not sure. That's his phone number, bro. Yep. Bro. That's his f cell phone number. Yep. So that's it, the one I text him on every day. I wanted to show that. I'm also gonna air out Ashton here too. Yes, please. Uh, yes. Okay. Hey, 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 stop your. Sh isn't there more though? No, there is no. No, no, no. Ashton so at Gmail. So resigned. 55. Yeah, 55. <laughs> you mother Okay, okay. Dude, I've had this email since I was 12 years old, okay? Oh, Just boy. keep that in mind. <laughs> Twitter accounts, we have, you know, full name. Okay. Followers at that time, at least. We have IP address for Ashton, which, you know. Find something dirty about him. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, he Here's like fuck, pump, pumpkin every night. I don't think you scroll through his He enough. might, he might. Dude, that's one of my old ass passwords. Oh my god. Yep, and some of them may be newer. Um, it depends on the, the breach. Each one of these, if you see, they come from different places. Dude, our, Hus our, our North Hollywood address is in there. Look, Huston. Look. That's where we used to Did live. Did you see? That's the first place we lived together. Huston Street. F that. <laughs> and then this uh, is a phone number. That's no. my phone number now. Bitch, yep. you got your phone. Here's an IP address for you. Oh my uh, god. I guess you were looking for some insurance information no, at some I'm point. Sure I was. Here's another one of your passwords. <laughs> who is who is Nikki? Who is Nikki? My Chihuahua that died, you <gasps> asshole. And Riley was the other one. You. <laughs> so, um, uh, okay. There's there's SRMS Media, which is a domain I assume you owned at That's one point. That's Connor's old. Company. You, then you must have bought it. Connor, no, why, why do you own the game? It's his old ass company. Well, you your name's attached to it. The strange movie. Uh huh. That's the script I wrote. Yeah. Oh my Sight, god. Sightline movie. Good god. Shit, that's awesome. Why he owns your company? Why he owns your? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That'll work. <laughs> the money strapped to your head. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I usually like to take photos of people live, but in this case, since we're on a time crunch kind of situation, I'm just gonna grab one off Google. This is relatively recent. I could take this photo right here though, it wouldn't matter. I'm just grabbing one just, just to show a proof of concept. So I'll use this photo from Google. I'm gonna throw it in here. Okay, here we go. So it's just showing. <laughs> of course it's 69 pictures of us and me. <laughs> you package deal, bitch. Yeah, that's baby face. I was young and innocent. And baby face. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, thank you. So cute. Oh my yeah. god. Stop. Back to business. Stop right now. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna do a search of Ashton's face. Like I said, I normally would take a live photo, but we're on a crunch. Uh, we, we, crunch we, for time. Yeah. It's 1.30 in the morning. Ass. Yeah. 
I'm very crunchy. So let's right see now. what comes up for Ashton. Yes. No, it's a glitch. There's something. There's there. no glitch. You don't you gotta do it. Your face is uh, a glitch. No again, result. Dude. Zero results, probably. Because this isn't a reverse image search. This is. Is it bad out. that it's taking longer to load? No, it's gonna no. take 120 points of your face, no. and it's gonna pull up pictures like this. Oh, stop! Whoa. Put that. Whoa. Look at that hair. <laughs> delete. Uh, delete that photo. Lucky no bitch. naked pictures no, online. No, no, I don't have naked pictures online. That's the two right there. Get along. Give each oh. other, give each other a hug. All right, all give right. him a hug. Give him a hug, and we'll end this video so we can all go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> We're about to dive even deeper, and it's about to get really uncomfortable. This was a real wake-up call, and for us working in the space that we're in, oh. F I just caught my own reflection in the the glass of the computer screen. It, I thought there was like a person. This was a bad idea. This was a huge wake up call guys. And even us working in the space that we're in as familiar as we are with phishing scams, online scams, data leaks, still, it never ceases to amaze us and terrify us how much of our personal information is actually out there. It's a scary thing, but wouldn't you want to know too? That is where Guardio comes in. Guardio is our exclusive security partner here at Trilogy Media. And not only do they give you the best real-time browsing protection that you can find anywhere online, but they will also scan the web for your personal information and let you know if any data leaks have occurred. My info has been leaked dozens of times, especially usernames and passwords that I've had for a long ass time. I still use one of my Gmails that I've had since I was like 14 years old. It's actually quite scary. Use our link, guard.io slash Trilogy. It's also the first link in the description of this video. You can try it completely free for a week. They'll even email you two days before the trial's over, which is awesome. You can scan your browser for malware right now. You can scan the web for your information and data leaks right now. It's a scary thought, but don't you wanna know? Guard.io slash Trilogy gets you the entire week for free. It also gets you 20% off the entire subscription price. The real-time browsing protection protects you and your family 24-7 seven from all kinds of online malware phishing scams spam emails they even have a new feature now that will alert you when a spam email skips your spam folder it happens all the time you'll have it in your regular inbox and you're like wait this is spam this should have gone to my spam folder guardia will tell you you don't have to go and guess guard.io slash trilogy go try it right now plus you can add up to five family members onto one single subscription for free Get your entire family protected 24 seven as they browse the web and making sure you're up to speed on what information has been leaked and what passwords you need to change. This is my, this is my whole life. I don't, know any, I don't know anything different. I don't remember not being on a computer. The initial motivation to help children was getting a text message from my friend's wife that had these horrible screenshots and there was a forum post that um, <clears throat> I talked about before that there was, I got three different screenshots, but one of them specifically that still sticks in my head. There was way worse ones than this, but this one sticks in my head because it was my initial, uh, you know, my initial, time, uh, initial, I guess, I don't even know how to word it. It was, it's so horrible. And the, the, the title of the post was, um, they have no idea what's going to happen tonight. Uh, they have no, I'm sorry. The title of the post was, they have no idea what is, I'm sorry, geez, I'm, I, I'm messing this up. It was a father that had his child in the bathtub and the, the title was, they have no idea what's gonna happen to them tonight. And underneath of that were people that were on this forum as well, these other weirdos, and they were talking about what they were gonna do to this guy's child. I left where I was at, literally left my friend's house and I went home with a goal in mind to do whatever it took to take this website down. I didn't care if it was a denial of service attack, which is a really easy, stupid attack to do, but at least it'll take the server down. Luckily, I was able to exfiltrate all of the users with all of their personally identifiable information. You know, it took, it, like, as you know, it took three years for anything to happen, but now things are happening, people are being confronted. If you're on that list and you know you're on that list, you, you should be scared. I, I, I don't have any comforting words for you. You don't deserve them. That, that, was my first, um, that was my first glimpse into this sick world. If you're a pedophile, if you're a predator, if you're attracted to kids, um, 
I have no sympathy for you. None. Zero. I don't care if it's a mental disability. I don't care if they're trying to normalize it in certain states. I don't care. I have zero sympathy for you and neither does most of the population, I hope. Something inside me makes me feel like I, I have to do it. I need to. Like it's a, there, there is no, there are, there's no other option. I mean, I feel like I was put on earth to do this. I have some things that we could do. I found some satanic orgy sh that we found some weird stuff. That I made. <laughs> nice. Dude, we're, we're down for anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like you guys would make it so much more funny when you're going through the search engine looking for terms and, yeah. you know, I could explain what they are or, yeah, you know, let's like, do it. Yeah, done, done, and done. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. So as long as it's, I'm safe. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to teach you how to, how to get tour, connect to tour. And then how to search the dark web for things that you want to find. Okay. Yeah. There's no harm. We're not going to do anything illegal. Right. So you don't have to worry about that or anything. It's more of just, uh, I could show you how to get, you know, how to access the dark web. Because yeah. you can't do it in a normal browser. Go to tourproject.org. And then there should be a download tour browser button in the middle there. Yep. And then download for Mac OS. Dude, we're going deep in this thing. <laughs> I just seen that weird we porn jumping, that Ashton was into. We're jumping in the <laughs> holy f river. I've never done this before. Good. That's why that's the beauty of this video. Uh -huh. it, it appears to be a Firefox browser with a couple tweaks. Yeah. But you see that big purple connect button there? Uh-huh. In the middle? You want to hit that connect button. Okay. And then at the top, you see, uh -huh. you know, there's a loading bar. And that bar is connecting you to the tour network. Scary. So essentially, this is how you connect to the dark web. Ooh. Do you feel it? <laughs> it's getting dark. You get into some weird, some weird stuff. <laughs> oh, are you ready? You have your diapers on? Uh huh. I'm ready. You can't. You're not gonna so able check, to sleep tonight. Yeah. Well, we'll see what we find. You know, I I don't even know what we're gonna find. So we, we're gonna check out uh, ahmia.fi. This is a search engine for the for the dark web. Well, let's just start off by typing something <laughs> simple like, uh, uh, let's just do drugs. <laughs> great, great way to, great place to start. Hit search. Yep. Oh my God, this feels illegal. <laughs> well, as soon as this browser is closed, everything that you did on here is erased. Everything that we just did would, is completely gone the second that you exit out of this browser. Well, you could see why, like you said, it's not inherently wrong to be on the dark web, but you could see why bad people would flock to this being redirected to a hidden service. <laughs> Great. You want to smoke a little bit tonight and get some, some mushrooms? mushrooms? <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> wow. So one thing that I noticed about this site is you could, you know, obviously there's there's documents, which I'm assuming is fake, you know, fake IDs, passports, uh, credit cards. I'm sure plenty of plenty of documents. They got drugs, electronics, financial documents uh, or financial services guns um hacking uh, i'm assuming hacking for hire which that's debatable whether that's real or not real i haven't heard of anybody doing that type of stuff like uh, even in in the worst times of my life i i haven't really heard of that but uh, a lot of these sites say that they offer it so i can't speak for what i don't know for sure but i'm pretty confident that that's a scam how can you get all of these without getting... Don't you have to put a shipping address in? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, you do. So how that works is there's a thing called uh, a PGP key. And a lot of these sellers... So like, let's say... Let's click on uh, click on one of these. Uh, anyone, doesn't matter. Uh, do these. Crystals? Crystals, yeah. Well, that one... Look at that one. There's poisons there. Yeah. Which is... They got some Rising? pretty... That's from Breaking Bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, and... Scopolamine, that's the uh, dragon's breath, the stuff that makes you forget what you do and tell, and whatever someone tells you to do, they, you do it. I've never heard of it. Wow. Uh, there's a whole documentary on it. It's, there's a certain countries where people will come up and they'll blow this stuff in your face and they'll get you to go empty your bank account out and do every, like rob you and do horrible things. And then you don't even remember that it happened, but you, re you do anything that the person tells you to do. So I can blow an ash in the face and he's going to be nice to me for the rest of the life? Yeah, I mean, high. that's bare minimum what Only you can get them to high. do. <laughs> don't get them and celebrate too early. Wow. But look, the important thing here, guys, is this says, uh, you know, crystals or, you know, uh, MDMA crystals. And it says nine customers are viewing this product. And at the top, it said there was 13 people that left reviews, reviews on yes. this product. The customer but when you click these reviews, um, obviously, you can read them. <laughs> wow. It, it took almost 10 days to arrive. Yeah, because you ordered crystals. Like, what? 
He ordered so you complaining the, the drugs came a little bit late? My god. Very good quality. You see at the bottom there, you must be logged in to post the review. So a lot of these drug marketplaces require you to either have an account um, and go through a process, or if you're a vendor, somebody that's selling drugs, a lot of them make you pay. So they'll say like, hey, pay a thousand dollars in whatever cryptocurrency, and you can start selling on our platform. Whereas this one I've never heard of personally, so I can't say whether it's credible or not credible. I'm not not a big fan of buying drugs online or doing drugs in general, but uh, but if you're gonna do it, you know this is this is what people are doing nowadays. Wizard LSD. <laughs> Yes, go to the last uh, last comment and it's DJ Pablo said, I'm glad I found what I wanted. Everything is described. I will recommend to my friends. <laughs> five stars. Huh? He gave it a five <laughs> <Yeah>. stars. <laughs> five stars. Highly recommend. Five that stars thing. on drug Amazon. That's, <laughs> that's something to achieve in your life. So another thing, of Yelp. another thing too here is you see at the top right. So not only is it in stock, but it says escrow to the right there. Uh -huh. um, so how that works is there's there's two things that I've learned um, doing research into these these uh, platforms. So there, if you're a new seller on the platform, like I said, any of us here, we could go we could go get some cryptocurrency at a Bitcoin ATM, for example, and go make a, a vendor account on one of these drug marketplaces, and we could say that we have whatever we want. But are we going to actually send it when someone sends the money? Um, that, that's up to us. Of course, we wouldn't, but some people would, would do that just to scam people. So they, a lot of these, if not all of them, have what's called an escrow service. And for those don't, who don't know what that means, it, that's a common term for anything in life. But it's a, it means that somebody is, meaning the platform in this case, but somebody is holding the money until the transaction is finalized and both sides are happy. So um, when you become a trusted vendor on these platforms, they do something uh, called FE, which is short for finalize early. Because at any moment, the feds could knock this, this poor Amazon down, they could knock the door down and arrest the owner of the site and all of the sellers are then out of their money because they're all held in escrow. Um, so when you're a trusted seller, uh, you have the privilege with all of the positive reviews saying, hey, this person sold me the right thing, exactly what I ordered, it's this great quality, you know, all, all kinds of things that would uh, give somebody a good feeling that they're not gonna get ripped off and they'll finalize that order before they even receive it. Wow. And I, I only can assume, right, if it was so easy to do it with you, so I'm pretty sure that FBI, feds, and all these law enforcement, you know, they they inside, right? They Yeah, so, so that was what I, I was getting into a little bit before whatever happened um, with the PGP keys. So a lot of these vendors will require you to send your personal information back and forth, even communication, uh, and use an encrypted means of doing so. So even if the, the server gets hacked, the owner gets, uh, gets discovered and arrested, they may take the site down, they may be able to do whatever they want uh, on that side of things. But if they don't have the private key of the seller who is selling the drugs or whatever it may be on these marketplaces, they can't read the conversations between the customer. Um, so, you know, it's a it's a layer of protection on top of the platform that they're on. They don't have to completely believe and rely on the uh, the person running the site. Going back to onions.com, it's like layer after layer after layer. Onions.com. <laughs> onions <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You dude. somehow found a way to weaselize this <laughs> terrifying place. Onions.com. <laughs> yeah, yeah, onions.com. We need to find a way to buy that domain on the clear way. <laughs> onions.com. <laughs> Unpeel me! Unpeel me! Undress me! God damn. All right. All right. Okay. Interesting. Okay. That was a soft. It was very mild. Right. <laughs> Where are we moving next, yeah. brother? So we're, this was, this was uh, the soft one. So now I'm kind of curious to see what happens with you guys. So here's the search bar. They can give you anything you want on the dark web. What would you search for? I told you last time I want to buy submarine. There's no submarine. Oh, submarine? Okay. Let's try it. I know that my people you know, <laughs> selling submarine. a lot of fucking sh tanks, submarines, rockets, anything. Oh, hold on. And it says Andre, the first Russian name, submarine slash Andre. You see, my is already selling submarines. Andre. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like sugar, sugar, spice, and everything not nice. I don't know if that's a, 
if that's a safe site to click or not. Uh, all right. <laughs> what, what about like what about like a hitman? Yeah, hit, you can type whatever you want there. Hitman yeah. for a hitman. So actually, you better behave yourself because now I, I I can know I know people they can whoop your ass. Destruction Network Hitman, real kill hire assassin. Jesus. I'm so awesome. What do I do? So I would just uh, if I were you, just open a bunch of the ones, just hit, hit you know open a new tab on a bunch of them, uh -huh. and let's just see what they look I like. I want to click on any of them without you telling me it's okay because I don't know what I'm looking at here. Well, I would, the ones with the titles I would say are most. Uh, okay. Most likely, you know, what they say they are, but I, oh. I make no guarantees. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh okay, my so God. this looks this looks pretty messed up, and uh, I was not expecting to see this. I'm sure this will be blurred, so oh for anybody that's watching, God. this is bad. This is really bad. Is that a... Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what you think it is. Yes. Oh, okay, well, there were... We Unfortunately, this is this is in front of our eyes. This is their homepage, um, bro. Yes, it is. And they have an email address to contact them. I, I'm assuming if you want to do, I mean, if you want to pay to do something horrible to somebody, I, I'm assuming that's what that email is there for. Oh my God! So you cannot see the prices. You need to reach out to a person, this organization, right? That's all it is. There's no buttons to click. It's just. Yeah, I, I don't see anything different oh, there. Oh, oh no, here we go. Let's see this. Why choose us? Oh my god! What the f Quality service around the world. It sounds like it was written by ChatGPT. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be a scam. You know, think about it. Who's going to call the cops if they rob them? We you don't know? ask questions. We just perform our duty and get paid. We go wherever and whenever the mission calls to fulfill our customer wishes. Operated since 2013. 100% success, success rate, rate and no arrests made. Oh my God. There's a FAQ. They have an though. FAQ. We are a group of ex-servicemen, ex-law enforcement professionals, and technology professionals. Are they going to kill us for showing this on our video? <laughs> uh, we are professionals. Well, hopefully not. Trained to kill, no questions asked. In the past, we have killed and hacked for our governments for a modest salary. Now we're doing the same job for our account. Oh, how much do you charge? For other services, such as murder, we do not operate a flat fee. Rates are discussed with our customers on a case-by-case. -case. Our professional tax starts at 5000 for low-profile cases. Like, but because you're a public figure, they probably ask for $5 million. Can you stage a hit as an accident? Yes, but only in certain countries. A surcharge of 40% will apply. What? Are you f wow. kidding me? Consultation. Why a consultation first? This is insane. Oh my god. What if you... Um, so what's yeah. uh, okay, what payments methods are ex uh, accepted? Bitcoin. Only Bitcoin. Yeah. Figures. And then looks like there's some pretty crazy photos oh, underneath here. Oh, what the here. is this? I do not know, but it doesn't look good. Uh, contact form. Your name, nickname, contact. Send him a message. I'm good. <laughs> Try to provide information about the victim. They call him a victim. Oh, well, they can't God. see who you are the same way that you can't see who they are. So if you just say your name is uh, Ligma Balls, and then <laughs> or they, won't, they, can't, they don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They yeah. decapitation, overdose, suicide, torture, accident. Fire arm. Holy Wow. So yeah, I mean, who who method. knows that? Who knows if this is a real a real service or not? But we have a lot of others to look at. So who knows? You know, it could be real. It could not be. I wouldn't take the chance, um, personally. All right. Oh, holy. All right. Oh boy. All right. Uh, yeah. Next. Seen enough of that one. Uh huh. Um, you want to do these? Uh, do what? Which? Oh yeah. The what? the f***ing Satan. Yeah. Six, six, six. Oh yeah. What do you suggest? Right. Let me let me pull that let me pull that up. I seen that earlier when trying to find some cool stuff for you guys to look at. Let me send you the link. So I just found a website where you can buy human meat. What? Wait, what? Human meat? Yeah. Like Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh gosh, yeah. There's some horrible stuff on here too. But one that says Carney, which I'm assuming that stands for for carnivore. 
human meat. And it says, a bit creepy the first time, but after all, it's just a matter of curiosity and how far you're able to go. We thank those people to offer this kind of liberty, serious and fast. So this site is the site that brought me to a, a link of a bunch of weird sites. A I'm sorry, an assortment of links that brought me to a bunch of weird websites. And the profile photo is weird by what itself, but... So where do I go here? Shout room, what the hell is that? It says, what does that say? It says videos. the worst videos you can find except killers one. Here, horror come from huge amount of available videos. Need a passphrase to enter. So who knows what that is? That sounds oh pretty weird sounds and awful. bad. Uh, videos and pick leaks could be anyone, anywhere. Uh, and then oh, the one, yeah, I see the party human, human meat. meat is the one that I saw. What is it here? Did you click this? So I just... Yeah, it said a bit creepy the first time, but after all, it's just a matter of curiosity and how far you are able to go. We thank those people, I'm assuming the people that died, to offer this kind of liberty, serious and fast. Did you, did you click it? Yeah, I went, I, I clicked the, the, I opened it in a new tab. Okay. And then it, it showed up in a different language for me, but there was an English button. Oh. For those with taste, oh, f for the love of God. We collect our meat mainly from morgues. Oh gosh, what the heck? We won't tell you which country or countries, but we can say road accidents are our guilty pleasures. Wow. Holy f Dev is not lazy. Oh my God. Verified. What does it say? As as passionate people, we think everyone should taste human once in his or her life because it's yourself, it's knowledge. We deeply think eating human is not immoral as long as we don't kill them. I don't think it's I don't think it's moral either way. Oh. I don't know who owns the site, but I think you guys I'm gonna whoever Let me click on catalog. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm gonna vomit it hard. Organ deluxe. For twelve hundred dollars, or no, uh, yeah, twelve hundred dollars. That's a one heart. half brain, one half what? brain, liver. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> brain, liver, heart. No. And it's not expensive. <sighs> I might actually vomit. It's so disgusting. You for five hundred dollars, you can buy somebody else hundred gram of heart. How do you know? How do you know that it's not full of bull? <laughs> what? Maybe it's a cow heart. How can you vouch you if you never tried before? No. What are you gonna report him to the cops? I don't think I want to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <sighs> so that could be a scam. It's disgusting, bro. This is so f gross. Organ basic. Yeah. Oh my Tasty. god. That's some weird and stuff then, right out there. Out of all of this crazy sh there's the blast link here. It's cooking, f fajita recipes. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. That that just it right makes next a to lot the human of sense. Meat? But I did find a site that is selling organs. It doesn't have pictures of uh, like, you know, the specific organ you're getting, but it does explain what you're getting and how much it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, literally- so Just go back to that search engine and type in organs. Mm. Uh, yes, that's Market the one place, that I opened. Human organs category. Scroll down to um, United States there, and I clicked that, and then I read the description. And then here's this. I found that other site. $30,000 uh, per item. We set up everything for your surgery. You just provide your medical data and we will find a matching donor. Keep in mind, you're only paying us to find the donor and set up everything. The location will be disclosed and everything is ready. We'll ask you for money depending on the organ you need. Just for you to get an idea, a heart is 75,000, lung 35,000. Wow. So what are they looking for? They're, they're, they're looking for, what are they looking for? They selling or they buying? No, they're 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 a broker. They're an organ broker, right? Yeah, yeah. They definitely are a broker. It doesn't. I I can't tell how legitimate it is or not. I, I really don't know. But it, the prices seem like that's kind of a high price just to have a website up. Um, is it a is it a fun. is it a willing donor that they're looking for? Like, wh wh and they're looking for like to put it in you, like someone that needs like an operation. What is the select products for? Seller's products. Oh, select seller's product. Yeah, can you see what, what is this? Yeah, it looks like the products are just the different it's countries. The, yeah, where they're from. And the pricing. Uh, Asia. Okay. 
But I did send a link in the chat for you know I, I don't know about this site you know it's, like I said there's so many weird things there are there are some more organized marketplaces that you have to register for and uh, and do all that that will show you you know real, real like I know for sure that they're yeah, real human yeah. beings because they're you could tell that the, the the government's investigating them right now but it's essentially the same thing as the Amazon drug marketplace just uh, a little bit harder to get to because you have to register for it in advance. They have to know that you're real and they can trust you so they can sell you. Exactly. Ooh. Oh, f What is this? Watch video? I just, I'm just looking. 36 minutes. So this thing that came up, I didn't, I don't know what the video is, but I did see the description for this thing before I clicked it. Um, let me find that again. It you have to pay to watch it. My screen. You have to pay Bitcoin to watch that video. You do? Yeah. yeah, it says, yeah, and there is a... To watch video, send 0. .0002 Bitcoin to this address. QR link. Video will start after we receive Bitcoins. That's... And let me read the, the description oh, that, here. That's, they're asking for $6.66. Oh, gosh. That's how much Bitcoin they, they're asking for. There's some stuff that, you know, we probably shouldn't talk about, but it's a new trend that's going on with uh, it, in the trafficking side of things where these scumbags are are streaming these uh, the, the abuse of children. Or, you know, not, I'm not saying it has something to do with this website, but that is real and that is happening and people are paying to watch people torture, um, you know, children so oh, it's uh it, it is happening it may not be you know six dollars who knows what the price is but it's uh it's it's real and it, i do know of one story take this out if you think that it's too much um and i don't want to say which group it came from or who we're investigating but there was there was a group that i know of one person that was paying to uh and i don't know who the person is but uh the person was paying to watch a toddler get their skull crushed live on stream oh, my oh God. that is not something that i just found randomly on a search engine and tour that came from uh, a foundation that told me the story about it Four thousand five hundred seventy-two views on that video by the way and then the the description for this website um that supposedly is charging you know six dollars 66 cents whatever it says to watch it says black room watch satanic rituals online uncensored sex porn rape yeah, contains immoral sexual orgies. Yeah. F yep. Yeah, it's it's a real thing, and they're called uh, the the nickname for them are called red rooms. If you've ever heard of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. It's it's a uh, you know there's I I looked it up um you know on that search engine there's a bunch of sites that that have it. Uh, it seems like that shout room site was even though it said on the other site that it had nothing to do with murder it, it's. It seems like it may. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There are people that watch these red room sites where they pay to watch people get murdered um, on the dark web. And where the f are they filming these things? Like, these are real people doing this. Yeah, human beings that are being tortured, abused, murdered, raped, and and you know anything you can think of. It's it's horrible, and uh, I just can't believe that there's humans or creatures on this planet. That uh, they can live with themselves after after either paying for that or sitting there and watching that and liking it. I, I just I can't comprehend that. We normal human beings we have Netflix subscription or Trilogy Plus, yeah. which is please subscribe. Which, uh, Trilogy right. Plus subscriptions and other f have subscriptions to watch other people getting punished, raped or killed. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. There's some. There. You know. Thankfully, you know we are not those people. But uh, um, unfortunately, those people exist. If, if, like I said, if you want to call them people, I like to call them creatures. Yep. You said it right. Mm -hmm. You said it right. This it's is, not. This is insane. But they have the morality to put a warning for people under 18. Like. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, like that's going to. How does that make sense? How does that make better? Is it, uh, I, I, uh, I mean, I'm sure. I I'm, I'm doubt you can show this in the, in the video, but like. For the people that can't see what's going on in the background, there is a satanic type symbol on the ground with a person that appears to be chopped up and blood all over the place, uh, surrounded by candles. So, you know, who knows what this website is, whether it's real, whether it's not real, it doesn't really matter. Somebody went out of their way to set up this website. They've had to create this content and they're accepting money for a video that may or may not play. We don't know. We're not going to pay for it. 
but uh you know they're this is just the, the tip of an iceberg. Like there, this is, there is so much worse that we can't get into because we don't want to get ourselves in trouble. But there are so much worse oh, I'm sure. out there, which it's just, uh, it's terrifying. It's, this, is, this is the world that we live in that you don't see every day. This is when you're driving down the street and you see all the houses, you know, flying by your face. You don't know which one of those houses could be this. Well, you so, said it's right that even if somebody went out of their way to set this up and let's say it's fake just to you know let's say they hire an actor or actress and all these people are fake and it's actors and it's not blood it's uh cranberry juice but you think about this sh to go to set it it's up, up it's already up regardless even if you didn't do anything and you, you scamming people out of 666 wow F wow it's ridiculous. There, there's another one. Look, order potassium cyanide online. There's poison right to your doorstep. Can we try, like, if I want to buy rockets or bombs or anything like this, like heavy weapon? Yeah, I'm looking at a rocket launcher for sale right now. I just typed in rocket. Rocket launcher for sale. <laughs> oh my God. Rocket launcher for sale. Hell oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude. Guns, raffle, dude. explosives. This is something out of golden Drones. Eye. Wow. Night vision, ammunition. See, this looks this this one out of all of them. Like I, I, you know, who knows which ones were are are scammers or not scammers or real or not real. This one looks the most realistic to yep. me out of all of them. Black market guns. Wow. Track order. Customer support. Twenty four seven. How do they f deliver? What's the rockets? tracking number for my rocket launcher? <laughs> yeah. Well, I do know based on some stuff that I've seen on YouTube and, and you know, reading over the years, because this isn't new, you know, buying illegal stuff on the dark web, people have known about it for a while, but they haven't seen it for the most part. They just hear about it. And the way I hear that they ship guns to countries where guns are not legal, like Europe and, and many other countries, but um, and even the United States, the way they ship them would be in pieces. So they'll send like, you know, the, the top part of the gun or the lower yeah, receiver, right. which is the bottom part of the gun or the magazine, all of that stuff comes in different packages and that, then you assemble that, that firearm yourself. So I would assume if this is a real site where you buy rocket launchers, you'd be getting pieces of that rocket launcher over time. Can you uh, put on explosives? I wanna see what kind of bombs do they have. Oops. <laughs> contact Looks like us. it brings you right to the... Hold on, I, I clicked contact first. Um, oh, okay. Ashen ready to contact them. <laughs> uh, Ashen's ready to buy a rocket launcher. <laughs> For our next photo shoot. There is anti-tank fucking... Oh... Hell oh, wow. Wow. 500 at Yeah, these are serious explosives, too. These are no joke. C4. And they so cheap. Does someone just have this in their kitchen cabinet just waiting to be purchased? Fucking wild. Look at the descriptions. Yeah, it looks like explosive emulsion. Which Euro I don't know exactly what that means, but it looks like it's... Some type of dynamite. Uh, Twenty-five people yeah, like, are viewing this product <laughs> right now. Oh my god! Okay, so it's yeah, it's dynamite ni nitroglycol base, and it looks like it looks like it's you could like bend it around something. Select the detonator after purchase. <laughs> Comes yeah. packaged oh as a car repair kit to fool the mail or whatever. Wow. Wow. God bless the mail carriers. Who knows what, like, every day, who knows you if they're carrying know what you're carrying. dynamite. Oh my God, dude. And as soon as you exit out of tour, everything we just did is gone as if you never did it. So I can like, just, never... I can just close the browser and that's it? Well, at the top left on your Mac there, yeah. hit the tour browser, um, not that one. You oh. could do it that one, but yeah, just force close the whole thing. You know? Just quit, yeah. Yep. And the next time you open it, if you ever do, It'll be like, you know, there'll be no history. There'll be nothing there to, uh, you know, it'll be like you never used it before. So nobody knows, nobody would know about your furry fantasies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, be a they'll kid. never find out. Oh my yeah. God. Brian, you were a Brother, fucking le usual, legend. Usual. Um, what, what kind of call to action can I, because I'm going to plug Pentester, of course, but like what kind of call to action can I say to people in this video to support you or to, to anything well, that will benefit honestly, you? I appreciate that. So, I mean, I think I already did it in the interview, but really it would be to say, if you want to check the dark web for leaks um, and sensitive information, check out pentester.com and run your email or, or company and uh, company through a light scan for free. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's that, I mean, that, that is the truth. They'd be scanning 140 billion records that are scraped or collected from the dark web. 
and they'll know their exposure and continuously figure out, you know, similar to what you've seen before, but just a little bit more on our side of things. That's what we do primarily. So they uh, can protect themselves online. So we continuously monitor their identity and their, uh, not only their passwords, but their social security number, their credit card, even down to their license plate number. So everything, but you can check all of that for free. If people uh, reach out on Pentester's contact uh, page, it, it goes to you, you'll see it? Yeah, so so you can reach out through um, the main website. It'll go to, to me and the team, or you can reach out to me directly if you're watching this video, ryan at pentester.com. Beautiful. No, it's supposed to be ryanfantastic.com. <laughs> oh, onion. Oh. Dot, That's our side com. business. Onions. That's our com. side business. I we'll figure that one out later. <laughs> Fantastic, bombastic, brother. We love you so much, man. Thank you endlessly for this yes. and everything. And uh, we can't wait to. We, we gotta. We have to do something soon, man. Together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't wait to see you guys and love you both. Love like, you seriously. Anytime, just let me know. I'm ready. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Do not try this at home, but here's what you should do. You should download the Guardio browser extension right now by going to guard.io slash trilogy, get a discount, try it for free. It's an amazing product and it's an important tool to have to protect yourself against scams and malware. Also check out trilogyplus.com, which is now half price across the board for new and existing users. There are hundreds of videos over there that you can't find anywhere else. Check it out and see what you're missing and try the all access pass seven days completely for free. You can watch the extended and raw version of this video over there. You can also see Ryan Montgomery's entire exclusive interview that you can't watch anywhere else. Trilogyplus.com, we love you so much. Thanks for watching. And I hope the power comes back on because we got streams to do. Otherwise, we got to make some changes to our calendar. I love you guys so much. Should we do this again? And if so, what do you want to see? Comment below. We love you so much. And we'll catch you in the next video.